Jesus gave me a dream the other day that I was wanting to share. And what I can remember of it was there was a man that had come down with the coronavirus. And I was given the ability to be able to see inside this man's body, um, down to the very cells of his body and what was going on. And I could see that the areas inside the body that should be protecting against sickness and disease were infected and filled with holes and they were not strong. They were weak and flimsy little things. It looked almost like a sponge, a dirty old yucky sponge. And out of the holes were coming the coronavirus cells, for lack of better words, um, and they were coming out so quickly that it was just multiplying so much in his body that there was just little hope for him. And that was sensed just kind of in my dream that he was going to die from it. And I remember that he could also see what was going on in his body. And he was so scared and just crying and couldn't believe that this could happen to him. And I knew in my dream, um, while he was kind of saying, thinking this to himself, that if only he had stayed closer to Jesus, that this wouldn't be happening. So then he starts running around trying to find someone that could help him. But everyone around him also had the coronavirus and was unable to help him. And that was the end of my dream. While Jesus was reminding me how true that this is spiritually, the more sin we allow into our life, the more sin we tolerate, the more polluted and sick we become spiritually. Demons will quickly start to possess you, to fill your body, the more sin you allow into your life. If you are close with Jesus, however, he makes you strong and you can overcome anything that the devil throws at you. You are given the power, Jesus's power, to overcome sin and death. Jesus will protect you spiritually and physically. He will keep you well and safe from harm, even when the world around you is falling apart and dying. The world is trying to push tolerance and acceptance, but that is the Antichrist agenda, to be able to accept and tolerate any sin that people want to commit. It is time to take a stand with Jesus. We cannot be tolerant of sin. You have to cut sin out of your life. Jesus says if your eye or hand causes you to stumble, cut it off. It's better to enter the kingdom of heaven without that limb or eye than to enter hell um, complete. So today, if you realize that you are in sin, that you have been accepting and uh, tolerant of things that are wicked and against God, it is time to repent. Run away from the things that will cause you to stumble. If it's bad friends, go away from those bad friends. If it's a bad church that's full of sin and hypocrisy, leave that church, come out of her. Otherwise, you will receive in her plagues. If it's books and ungodly music, stop listening to it. All of these things that you fill your mind with will defile you. Even if you yourself are not committing bad sins, but maybe your friends are, just by having those friends, you are showing you are accepting of their sins and therefore you defile yourself. So it is so important that we remain separate from sin and hypocrisy so that we can be pure and refined by Jesus because Jesus will only take a holy, pure, and blameless bride. If you know that Jesus would not accept it, you should have nothing to do with it. We cannot use the devil's tools for God. Take all things up with Jesus and make today the day of repentance. Make today the day that you know without the shadow of a doubt you are right before the Lord Jesus because all will stand before him and have to hold an account to their life. Fortify your body with the Holy Spirit 
and make it strong so that you can withstand all the evil that is coming upon the world. Jesus will protect you even when judgment is falling all over the world. He can take care of his true children. Seek him today while he may be found. May Jesus bless you.